The integration of CyberArk privileged account security and SailPoint identity governance enables organisations to gain a unified, policy-driven approach to managing identity and access governance across non-privileged and privileged accounts alike. In this demonstration, we will show you the benefits of this combined solution and walk through specific use case examples. So let's get started with seeing what the centralised view looks like. Once the Privilege Access Management module is installed and configured, we get a new quick link that's available. So here's your normal Identity IQ dashboard. We go over to the Quick Link section under Manage Access. There's a link for Privileged Account Management. We click that, it takes us through to a view of all the safes that we know about on the connected Privileged Access Management system. If we click on one, say Project X Passwords, we go to Manage it, we can see there are four users with direct access. Now if we look at Charles Harris, if we click on the information button under his details, we can see all the different permissions that Charles has on this particular safe. We can also see effective access. So if we look at the effective access list, we can see a different set of users. These users have been granted access through group membership. So the group has been assigned permissions on the safe and then the users have been put in as members of the group. So if we look at Jacqueline Willis, again we click on the information icon, we can see that some of the access she has to this pass, uh, to this safe is granted by membership of a group called Project X, but she also has some elevated access through a group called Project X Admins that she's also a member of. So we can see a collection of all the different types of indirect access that Jacqueline has. If we go to the Groups tab, we can see that there are two groups that have the, those different accesses and if we look at those here are the identities that are a member of Project X and here are the Project X group permissions on that particular safe which is also called Project X. If we look at Project X admins then that group has two different members Jacqueline and Jane and we can see that this group grants them more administrative pri privileges to this safe. Lastly, if we go to the Privileged Items tab, we can see a list of the privileged items that are contained within that safe that the different users have been granted access to. So if we go over to the CyberArk interface and have a look at the safes within the CyberArk web access, and we look at Project X passwords and members, we can see those users that have the direct access and we can also see those groups that were given that are giving indirect access to some other users within the Identity IQ warehouse. So if we go back over to Identity IQ and we click this add identities button then we search for a user, let's use Dale and we click the next button once we've chosen our identities and then it gives us a list of permissions that we can add to that user or users on this particular safe. So why don't we grant him list, retrieve and use password, which are the basic permissions that are required to use the privileged data stored within the safe. We go ahead and submit that. That's gone off for approval. So if we go over to Dale's manager, Louise, and log in as her, we can see that she has an approval waiting for Dale Bishop. If we approve that request for those permissions that we requested. The privileged access management module in the background will be sending a skim message to the skim server on the CyberArk side which will be asking it to provision those permissions and then if we go and refresh this view for project text passwords you can see that we've added Dale Bishop and he has use retrieve and list permissions on that safe. Finally let's take a look at access recertification. Now we've set up a certification for Dale's manager Louise so if we go and switch over to Louise's browser, we can see we have one access review here. We click on that and that takes us through to a list for Louise's current certifications and we just have the one. So if we click on start, we can see that all she has to approve here is the entitlements that Dale has on the Project X passwords safe. So what we'll do here is if we revoke all that access we've just granted, we can see when we save those decisions, 
the system is going to go away and realize that we are taking away that access so it will send some skim messages over to the CyberArk server and ask it to remove Dale's access on that particular safe. And now if we switch over to the CyberArk view, remember this is Dale's access here and if we refresh the safe we can see that we've removed Dale's access through the recertification process. This CyberArk privileged account security and SailPoint Identity IQ integration provides consistent controls over privileged and non-privileged access, enabling enhanced visibility, automated governance and streamlined secure delivery of access. With this integrated approach, organisations can now close security gaps, reduce risk and eliminate redundant processes related to managing non-privileged and privileged access.